guys, uh, so I'm finally coming out with the tutorial for the Amazing Money Magic Trick that I did a while back. Um, I, I put this off for a while just because I've had other things I'm, on my mind, like school, different stuff like that. So it's been um, been a little bit since I've been able to uh, record the tutorial for it, but here it is. So for those of you who haven't seen it, I'm going to go ahead and show you the performance now, and then I'll show you guys how to do it. So a lot of the times people tell me that they don't really see the point in magic. So this is usually the trick I'll do. So let's say I can take the uh, just the first two cards off the deck. Um, they could be any ones. I just took the first two ones, and I can show you front and back um, two normal cards, right? So uh, just by showing you the front and backs of each card, I can show you that if I uh, show both of my hands are completely empty, and I just spread the cards, money can appear from in between the two cards. And it's not just any dollar bill. This is a magic $2 bill came from these cards right there. Alright guys, I hope you guys like the trick, and here's the tutorial. Alrighty, so, here is how you guys can do that trick right now. Here's the tutorial. So, you're going to need some scissors, a glue stick, and uh, two random cards. I'm going to go ahead and give you some time to go get those. You can pause the video. Alright, so, now that you've got all these things, um, this is what you're going to do for the uh, for the video, or for the, uh, for the trick. Um, so, what you need... Like I said before, two cards, um, a glue stick, scissors, and I forgot to tell you, you do need, whoa, what's happened to the light? You do need, there we go, <laughs> you do need um, a dollar bill or whatever bill uh, you need or have in that case. So I have the two dollar bill here. You don't have to have this one. I just, I just happen to have this. So you need a dollar bill, two random cards, glue stick, and some scissors. So... Before I show you um, how to make the gimmick, I'm going to go ahead and show you what exactly the gimmick, um, how it works. So all it is is two cards, but I, as you can see, I've cut out a slit in one of them. As you can see I've cut out a little thumb piece like this, right there. We can catch that on the camera. And the dollar bill just goes straight in between the two cards and that's it and you cover that up with your thumb so let's get into how to make this so I can set this over here and let's get these two random cards you're gonna want, you're gonna want to take two random face cards for the trick any two that you have and this is what you're going to do um, go ahead and take one of them and put your thumb in from this edge from this middle you're gonna hold it like that make sure that uh, you're just gonna be holding it directly in the middle and what you're going to do is you could trace the outline of your thumb, but I'm just going to cut it out. That's what I did over there, too. I can just, I'm just going to cut it out and watch. What this is, this is what I mean by holding your thumb there. So you can hold your thumb there. Okay, remember how it looks from there. And then just try to outline it. So this is what I mean. As you can see, I've cut two slits into the card. Like that. Make sure that when you put your thumb back on the card like this, your thumb is covering up those two slits. That's the important part of the gimmick. So now what we're going to do is just going to cut out. And as you can see, they're very little. The slits are very little. They go just past the white border. Okay? And then see the white border on the bicycle cards? It just I just cut down to where the blue starts. So you can see that the blue starts right there. It's very small. And then I just cut it out. I round it out. So I curve the card. And then I'm just cutting out that piece. Okay? Just elementary school level cutting. Not very difficult to do this part. And then you just take this piece off. And that's basically the, uh, that's the first, this is the first part of the, the, uh, the gimmick. So let's just go ahead and cut that out too. Almost done here. I'm just going to cut this out. Alright, so the important part, and even this is a little bit big. I should have made it a little bit smaller. Um, but the, the important part of this is that you want your thumb to be able to sit on the card, but cover it up. Okay, so you can see that both my fingers on either side can cover up that hole. That is the important part of the gimmick. If you messed up there... You've messed up the whole thing. 
So make sure your thumb can cover up the hole we just covered up and your index finger on the other side as well. So from here it's pretty much easy. You don't even need the scissors anymore. All you need is the glue stick. So what you're going to do, okay, is just gonna take the um, you're gonna go ahead and take the glue stick and for the gimmick, you want the card with the slit. So in this case, this is the card with the slit. You want this to go on top. So take both cards, put them face down in your hand. You can see I have the slit card over there. This one goes on top just like this. That's all it is. And then you're going to glue it together. But here's the important part. So you're going to take the bottom card, which is this case, the card without the slit. And on the back, you're only going to glue the long edges and a little bit of the bottom. You want to leave this part open with no glue because remember you're going to be sticking the card in between the two of them or you're going to be sticking the dollar bill in between the two of them and you don't want that glue you don't want the glue to be um, sticking to the dollar bill when you stick it inside. So go ahead and take the glue and just do the border. So you want to make sure you get the corners real nice and then just stick it down the side there and on the bottom too, just the white border. You're not really worried about any of the blue area inside the back of the card. And you can see I just got the edges. And then, now you're done gluing. All you have to do now is take your card with the slit, put it on top, square it up, and then just press down, put some pressure where the glue is, and now you're done making the card. Here is an important tip. Do not go ahead and just make this gimmick and try to do the trick right right away. Make sure you let the card dry. It. If you do the trick now with the dollar bill, you're going to stick the bill in and these top edges, since they're not going to be completely glued down, they're going to come open when you try to stick the card in, the dollar bill inside. So just let this dry. Be patient. Um, this might not even take overnight, maybe like an hour or two at the most, maybe three, but just let it dry. So let's say it's dried, and now you have your finished product. This is the card I used in the performance. This is the one I used in the video. So um, you can see that after about two to three hours, um, the gimmick's been dried up, and it's completely foolproof. It works every time. So you want to make sure, another important thing to do, is you want to make sure that you folded the bill right. Because if you don't want to fold it and make it too thick, or you just want to make it, you want to make sure that it can fit inside of the pocket area perfectly. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to take your bill, and you're going to fold it in half. So go ahead and take your bill, fold it perfectly in half, okay? So make sure you fold it in half. The next thing you're going to do is open it back up and take the left side and fold it so this corner reaches the crease in the middle. Okay, so you take the edge. So remember, you fold it in. You fold it in half. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take the edges and fold them to the half. So this is the edge. Just take it, fold it to the middle, take the other end, fold it to the middle, put it all together and this is what you have, okay? If you need to see that again, go ahead and rewind the video. I'm not gonna go over it one more time because that would take a little bit too long. So from here, this is what you have. Now, once the card is dried, you can go ahead and take your card, or your dollar bill, and you're gonna put it inside the pocket. So usually I just put it right here like this, okay? And I'm gonna push it straight down in there, okay? And then you're gonna, and this is why it's important that you can cover up this hole with your thumb, because as you can see, you can you can see that there's a dollar bill inside right there. You can see it right there. So if you cover it up with your thumb, boom, it's completely covered up, and nobody's gonna see it. So let's get into the uh, performance of the trick. All right, so this is probably the most important part of the uh, of the trick itself for the gimmick, um, is putting it to use. So what you're going to do is you can take your gimmick once it's dried and you have your dollar bill inside, you're just going to stick it in the second position of the deck just like that. Okay? 
And then what you're going to do is you're going to tell the spectators whatever patter you want. So in this case, I told the spectators that a lot of people that I do tricks to, they say there isn't necessarily a point to magic other than to entertain. And this is where I show them that they're wrong because you can make money with magic and it's, it's a really good, it's a really good um, effect. So from here, from here, you're going to take the first card. You're going to spread it off, concealing the money. Oh, by the way, the money part, as you can see, is pointed towards me. So the card isn't like this. The 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 part where the money's exposed isn't towards the top. It's going to be pointed downwards towards me like this. That way when you spread the cards, it's going to be concealed. So you're just going to fan on all the cards, spread them out so the spectator can see. You want to do that so the spectator sees that the, it's a completely a normal deck, I guess you could say when it's not. It just makes it less suspicious. So you tell the spectators, all right, for this trick, I'm just going to use the top two cards. And you spread off the top two cards, making sure not to expose the money there. You take the top, top two cards, set the deck away. Now, what you're going to do from here is, because obviously the money is right there, you're going to take your hand and you're going to put your thumb over the card. And as you slide out the top card, your thumb is going to already be there concealing the money. So it's covered up. Take your thumb. and Remember, the money's in the middle of this card. It's in the middle of this portion, the bottom. So you go to the middle, slide out the top card, and then your thumb's already covering it up. So that's the first part of the trick. Now you're showing the card spectators just like this. You're going to be pinching the cards with your thumb and your index just like that. This is how you're going to pinch it. You want to make sure your hands are open because if they're not, it's going to look like suspicious if you're holding them like this. It looks like you're going to be holding something, so just make sure your hands are completely open so they can see they're empty. So show the spectators front and back. And remember how I told you it was important to make sure that your thumb can cover up that, that slit at the beginning of the video? It's because you're covering up the money there. So you want to make sure you can show them front and back of each card. And once you've done that, you're going to show the spectators, or you're going to take the card with the money in it, slide it behind the, the regular card, slide it behind, so now you're in this position. Okay, so from here, if you take your thumb away, the spectator shouldn't be able to see that there's money there. They shouldn't be able to see it because you're holding the cards like this. And you say, look, this hand is empty, and this hand is empty. And you do that so you can take the card, so remember like I said, you stick the cards behind it, show look, this hand is empty, this hand is empty, slide the card with the money across the other card, and you're going to take your thumb here and apply pressure to the money, so you take your thumb, right there, your left thumb, apply pressure to the money, and then you're just going to grab the edge of the gimmick, and you're going to slide the money out just like this, you can show the spectators, look, okay, and now what you're going to do, is place the card back on top, sandwiching the sandwiching the money, flip the cards over, and you say, look, you can create money with magic, okay? And then you can show the cards to the spectator like this, because obviously now there's no money in this, but you want to make sure you, that you don't reveal the slits there. So you can show the spectators again. You say, um, you can say, look, I've already created the the created money with magic, show this one to the spectators, and then you can show the cards one more time, make sure you can seal the slit, you do it very casually, and that is the trick. I hope you guys liked it, finally got around to it, it's been a while, it's just I haven't had time to do a whole gimmick video, these videos kind of take forever, and uh, anyways, I hope you guys liked it, leave your comments, or leave your feedback in the comments, and thank you guys for watching.